Ashley Horner. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some delicious peanut butter cookies that only take two ingredients to make. Some peanut butter, you will need Splenda, and then you want equal parts of your peanut butter and your Splenda. So I have done three-fourths cup of peanut butter and three-fourths cup of Splenda. Looks like this. Okay, it's kind of crumbly. It's wet. It has some moisture to it. I didn't add any water to it at all. A little 411 on your peanut butter that you use. Um, there's lots of selections and lots of different kinds of peanut butter. I personally choose um, the Adams Natural. I like it because if you look on the back, um, on the ingredients, the only thing that it says is peanuts. Peanut butter is like Skippy, Skippies. It tastes good as well, but if you actually look on the back, um, the list goes on and on and on as far as additives and um, sugar, soy protein, stuff that I can't even pronounce. I don't even know. Mono, D, M, and I, I can't even pronounce them. Um, we're going to put those in the little balls and we're going to crisscross them with a the fork. I'm going to pop them in the oven for about 12 minutes and at 350 and they're going to be done and they're going to be delicious. <laughs> So here are my peanut butter cookies. I just pulled them out from the oven and they were only cooking for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees and they look amazing and I wish you could smell them because they smell absolutely delicious. You can make these and take them to your parties and nobody will even know the difference and they only have two ingredients and there's no carbohydrates and no sugar. Mmm, they're really good. And it only takes two ingredients. Bye! Cooking with Ashley Horner.